Corey in Macon, Georgia. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm going to have you seeing Mo Better and looking Mo Better when I cut the, and I'm going to talk more about this later, the Zeiss Light D Invisible Bifocal with the Photo Fusion Extra and DuraVision Chrome Anti Glare for your Oakley 8121. Uh, size, it's on here, size 53 in the satin black. I'm going to take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. You have got your Oakley junk mail. <laughs> it just jumps right out. Your Oakley hard shell case. Inside the case, of course, the 8121 comes with extra logos to put on the side of your temple. It even comes with replaceable nose pads so you get the best possible fit. But inside, this is also double as a carrying bag as slash cleaning cloth. Let's take everything out. Now we can finally get to the star of the show, the main attraction with the interchangeable nose pads. Comes a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the rub temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. This is the Airdrop MNP. Again, this is the, hopefully you can see it. The Oakley 8121 color 01, which is the satin black and the 53 eye size. I'm going to take out, uh, pop out the original demo lenses. And they will be inside this box when I ship to you. You're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging. Place the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program the shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2157. Or as I like to call you, Volume 2147 of my 327 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So stay tuned for those other 326 plus million videos out there. So a little stylus is going to go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you want to file for unused health savings account or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now, I also want to say I am an authorized Oakley dealer, but as a small independent optician, I've been told I'm not legally allowed to post pictures of the frames with prices on my website. So do what Corey did. Email me, leave a phone number, I can call you back. Tell me what frame you want, the size, the color. I'll check on price and availability. He had to wait a couple extra days to get this one in. That's why I came in to late on the weekends to get this cut for you. Now that's the shape that, that we'll be cutting. I'm going to drop the pupillary distance down to 32, which is the pupillary distance for each eye. Raise the optical center height up to 19 for the position of where it changed the layout the layout screen to uh, the progressive lens. Now, I made an executive decision. This is a first in all my videos. I've been an Essilor man for years and years, but my Essilor blocker. But uh, the Zeiss sales rep came by. The actual person who trained me how to cut lenses, this is his daughter who died at age 13 tragically out of the blue. The man who taught me how to cut lenses is now the Zeiss rep. Gave me a shot. I got a pair of lenses. I really like them. The other nice thing is with uh, with the single vision lenses, you get the packets from Essilor that say transitions, you know, generation eight lenses with Crizal Alize on this one. Of course, they're available in all sorts of things. Zeiss is the only progressive that does the same thing. It puts your prescription on the packet, tells you which brand of progressive, the Photo Fusion Extra. Um, everything about it, the material, I thought that was a really nice touch. It's really professional, by the way. All camera lenses are Zeiss. All magnifying glasses are Zeiss. All telescopes made by Zeiss. They're one of the industry leaders. I have not been using their lenses. I've just cut a pair for myself and I said, okay, I like them so much. I'm going to start slowly phasing these into the, the marketplace and Corey's going to get the first pair because I love to be able to send these out. So you know exactly what you're getting with your prescription on there on each lens. So your right eye is plus 50 minus a quarter, plus 50 minus a quarter at 43. It could be written in plus cylinder that yours is on top, which is the minus. It could be plus a quarter, plus a quarter at 133, which is 93, 90 degrees away from that. 
but I'll highlight that in the, in the ink later. I went ahead and I've already put the dots on the lenses. Now this is a block, as I like to call him Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got two here. Stick this onto the first block, put that there, do the same thing on the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. On the back is a silver button that is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there. I've already put in the PD and the optical center height. We're going to lay out the lenses so that I always like to make sure the lens is large enough. Yes, it is. And get everything laid out just perfectly. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Take the left lens out of the pack. Well, first let's do this. Plus 50 minus a quarter at 43. Plus 50 minus a quarter at 43 has the bifocal strength right there. Put that back on. I'm going to mark this one as the right lens. Do the same thing now for the left one. Take it out of the packet. I've already got it dotted up. Place that out. Same optical, I mean, same pupillary distance, same optical center height. And get everything laid out perfectly. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens. Now from here on out, everything stays the same. This is the edger. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own. Put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can put it on the front seat of your truck so you can cut your lenses while you're at work. I say that because Corey is a truck driver. Everything you eat, everything you wear, everything in your home has been delivered by a truck driver. Nothing gets used in this country without them truck driver brings me the lenses the truck driver is going to take the complete pair of glasses out so these are you are again secret agent 2157 2157 it's always good when you can document everything that's what i love about these lenses oh i forgot to do this one now the left eye is just a plus 50 sphere and i'll mark this one l for left if you guys missed any of that let me recap. <laughs> you know you're not getting away with all the, that bad joke. So, these are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex. I would select that. We're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The dirty door. I really got to clean that thing. But then the lens is going to be traced by two wide styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And in this frame, with your prescription, you will have none. But it's just a routine procedure. Now the light you see flickering in the background is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as the polycarbonate material gets cut away from the grinding wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto this lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form on the edge of your lenses. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. They're high-impact ballistics grade lenses. The same lenses our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection as well as a premium scratch coating. Now these Zeiss Photo Fusion lenses, same as the Transitions Extra Active, they block 50 to 70% of the harmful blue light you hear talked about emitted from today's electronics such as computers, tablets, cell phones, and of course the number one cause of blue light the sun now the other nice thing about Zeiss they invented the photochromic lens they sold the rights to Essilor to Shamir to Hoya the other big companies they retained the name photochromic so Essilor had to call their lenses transitions 
I forget what the well Shamir just got bought out from Essilor so they're gonna be able to call it that but Hoy I forget what they call them but Zeiss calls theirs the photochromic lenses photo fusion the extra stands for the extra active their anti-glare is the DuraVision Chrome it's equivalent to Crizal Avance but cost a little bit less I really like my Zeiss lenses. I'm going to trust that Corey does too. Again, as I said, slowly but surely, I'm going to start phasing out the Essilor lenses and move everyone over to Zeiss. I know that's going to cause some fuss with my Zeiss sales rep, my, my excuse me, my Essilor sales rep, my Essilor machinery people, but Essilor is not going to go broke if I start to do my thing. I can still get any of the Essilor products. Those who want the Verilux X, the Crizal Sapphire, the Crizal Provencia, I can still do it. Zeiss has their own components. They had them first. In fact, the they had the the Photofusion Extra long before Essilor did. I need to cut this down a little bit more. It starts off large. The old carpenter saying you can always cut more off. You can never add it back on. So I start a little bit large and work my way down. You can always cut more off of a piece of wood you can never add it back on so but uh yeah so the lenses get darker faster they return back to light clearer i've been really happy with mine you can even get them in the colors long before the generation eights come out you can get them in a blue, you can get them in a gray green, you can get them in the amber in almost every material. As I said, I've been really happy with mine. I'm going to slowly add all of the Zeiss lenses onto the website. All of their progressive, this is the house brand, the Light D. They also have the Light H and the Light V, which is comparable to the Verilux X, and then they take things to another level. They have the Zeiss branded lenses, the individual and the individual two. As I mentioned, these are impact resistant lenses. The same lenses material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones tomorrow that's right it is 9 p.m 9 11 on sunday november 10th tomorrow is veterans day i know a lot of people would be off work so i went ahead and came in tonight to get caught up i was away this week and don't worry i've been in church all day today but i knew a lot of people Maybe off work tomorrow I might be slammed. I want to get these out. He's been waiting long enough. This color was on back order for a couple days. By the way, whenever you want to change these out, you just need a small, this is a Phillips head, almost a pin or something like that. There's a little gray tab on the inside. You press down. This will pop out. You can change the color. I don't want to lose it. I'm going to pop it into the case. It has two pegs on there. One goes into a slot. You can see there the other one is a round peg. So you know which way they go. You can change the color. You have the key lime. There's a solid black. There's a red. There's a blue. This comes with the gray. Slide that in there. Press that tab back in there. And we've got that same color. You can have a different color on each side. You can have matching colors on each side. But that's all you have to do is push that little pin out to change the color of your Oakley emblems. Again, dry everything off until it is the perfect size where it snaps in there easily. Tuck that in there. Oh yeah, now that snaps there in easily and good because that came off. Added my sticker collection. Throw that in the case. Flip that over to L. And hit start. 
just like before the door closes the clamp shuts the lens will be traced again by the two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame first go around and you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side this time and again measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bubble so you have the least amount of edge thickness of look core you ain't got nothing just like I said, no edge thickness whatsoever. With this prescription in this frame, with these thinner, lighter weight lenses, we'll come down here to the lensometer, spin the axis wheel to 43. Actually, this is cold. Let me turn everything on. There's a little bulb back here. When it heats up, it heats up this wheel too. I can tell by the temperature that it's off. So I'm going to put it in over that black dot, read the power, and I am getting plus 50 minus a quarter at 43 plus 50 exactly halfway between 0 and 1 now you have a second curve on your eye which is the smallest amount of astigmatism possible you have plus 50 this way minus a quarter this way and is how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp at the 43 meridian I'm gonna check the power we end up at plus a quarter we start off at plus 50 but then we subtracted a quarter that's why we end up at a quarter in the black. Now you have two steps of far-sided correction in each eye. You have the smallest amount of astigmatism you can have in the, in the right eye. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters P and F. And I think of it as the fine two knob. And we're going to turn that fine two knob to 43. Starting at zero, going to 90 to 180. We're going to stop just shy of the 45th meridian at 43. Now again, your left eye plus 50 sphere, you have no astigmatism correction, and a 150 progressive bifocal strength. This frame, the Oakley 8121, comes in a couple different sizes and several colors. No matter what size, what color, sells for 180. The Zeiss Progressive Additional Lens. It means progressive because as you look downward, it progressively gets stronger and stronger. The more horsepower at the bottom, just like when you step on your gas pedal. If you floor it all the way down, the full strength of your horsepower is at the very bottom of the lens. The Zeiss Progressive, the individual, excuse me, the Light D, which again is written on the top of this packet. Zeiss Progressive Light D18 1.59 Refractive Index, which means polycarbonate. The Photo Fusion Extra in gray. The, the Photo Fusion Extra is $129.99, same as it would be if it were the Essilor and their anti-glare is called DuraVision Chrome and that adds $79.99 for a total of $539.97 by the way all purchases are tax free North Carolina my home state considers eyeglasses a medical device there is no tax on medical devices I just want to run my thumbnail and get all the optical sawdust off so if you were to buy glasses from any other state or your home state there's a very good chance you would have to pay come on you know what let's go old school let's do something different make me work for it same way Corey earns his money he works for it I'm gonna to go to my handstone which is just like the cutting wheel there's that little bevel wheel there I'm gonna go around and make this just a little bit smaller that optical sawdust flying up let's see if this fits if not I'll take some more off you can see the sawdust on my hands but yeah this is tax-free so that's another seven and a half percent at least that's the tax in my state nobody likes paying tax so you don't have to pay that when you buy from me of course always free shipping and people with single vision lenses you will get free single vision lenses with the purchase of any frame and trust me if anyone out there has ever priced an invisible bifocal anywhere it's going to be over $149.99, over $150, even at Walmart. And they're not going to give you a high-quality Zeiss Progressive Lens in polycarbonate, the thinner, lighter weight, safer material. So I'm going to put it in above that black dot. And if all goes well, I'm going to get a plus 50. I don't have to move the axis wheel. There is no astigmatism correction. Look at that, plus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1. Now your pupillary distance is 64 for both eyes. I'm going to turn the card around so you can see the back of the card, at least the background. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 64 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. The optical center height for the progressive is 19. 
the wearer's position. It goes by many names. When you look to the middle part of the bottom of the frame, you're getting 19. 19. By the way, this is called final inspection. You always want to inspect a pair of glasses before you either call the patient or ship them so you know that it's perfect. But this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that as I just did, this purchase is tax-free and includes free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Macon, Georgia is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different in any other pair of glasses, my old Ray-Bans, but in my Oakleys, I don't. I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment after I get all this optical sawdust off my hands. Of course, it's all over the wall. Look, my Chromebook, it's all over the wall here. <laughs> so, where was I at? Oh yeah, I was cleaning these. Let me do clean a little better. But I'm going to get make sure these are in standard alignment. But if these do not fit perfectly when you get these, Corey, just go by your local optical shop and just tell them. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly um, to make sure they don't. But these are almost self-adjusting. That's the amazing thing about Oakley with these... T with these um, pilot temples they're called this is known as a spatula temple the way it curves and it's designed to curve around to fit behind the ear this is a pilot's temple if you can imagine uh, a pilot wearing a hard helmet they would have to take their helmet off to put these the spatula temples on these will slide on underneath the helmet people who ride motorcycles love them they still use this it gives a little bit of wrap this feature and plus there's a metal core in here you can actually adjust these yourself should you ever need to bringing them inward this way or outward but again i'm gonna get these in standard alignment also known as a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble now normally my glasses wobble on the counter but i'm wearing the cross range switch to the oakley 8132 in the blue orange and even mine when you press them on the counter they don't wobble every other pair of glasses i own wobble on the counter but I'm going to flip these over, press down. That's because of these pilot temples. They're almost self-adjusting. It is amazing. I've never seen it happen on any other pair. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. And they do. That neither temple is askew. Now this is what you're lending. By the way, I send out a selfie request. I would love to have your picture on the website. Corey, I also send out, especially standing next to your rig. That would be awesome. But I also send out cleaning instructions on how to care for your frame and lenses so they will last you for years your oakley cleaning cloth the zeiss cleaning cloth that you're going to get and the premium microfiber cloth that i provide so this is what your lenses look like for the first time before they have been activated they are still clear inside i'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light and i wish that i had a comparison i need to get an essilor lens and compare it against the zeiss but it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to dark and it takes a little bit longer to turn back to clear about 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15 now Corey and everyone else listening this is important pay attention all photochromic lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed the and then they'll work for years at maximum performance the only time the transition seven and eight or the regular photofusion dull darkness if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day and that's why they don't turn dark now the extra lenses the transitions extra active and the photochromic extra will get about 30 to 50 percent dark behind a windshield the also all all photochromic lenses are temperature sensitive meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above but i remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside having said that the extra photochromic extra lenses are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside so if you've liked what you've seen please like this video and subscribe to my channel you can click on the bell icon to get see notifications of future videos you can follow me on facebook and instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com and on twitter as free rx lenses as i keep talking you will see these getting lighter and lighter and quick too these new lenses are amazing 
But uh, if you have any questions, go to the website you see here, freeprescriptionlenses.com. Click on the Contact Me button. You can also leave a question or comment in the section below. I'll respond back to that. Again, I want to remind everyone that I am an authorized Oakley dealer. Just email me or call me. The number's on the website. Tell me which frame you want, the size, the color. I'll check on the price and the availability and get them ordered for you. But again, Corey in Macon, Georgia, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley. Let me turn this around. The 8121, the Airdrop MNP, color 01, the satin black and the 53 eye size. And now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.